competed at the San Diego and the Sacramento Regional. At San Diego we placed in the top third out of 60 teams and in Sacramento we placed about 10th out of 60 teams. We also won a new award that we've never won before called the Gracious Professionalism Award which honors our team for being particularly professional and we won the Spirit Award for the seventh year in a row. Okay, so our surf team did good this year. Our boys got first in state. We're gonna do nationals after school's over. We did good overall. We beat all the teams that we went up against. This year we got first place in the Miracosta Skills Competition where we were competing against Torrey Pines and El Camino Creek and uh, we ended up being the successors. Well, for volleyball this year, we won league. We won the Avocado East League, which was awesome because people underestimated us and we rose above it and conquered. And then we made it to the semifinals of CIF and we ended with, with a big game. We ended with a bang. Yeah, just tell me about like how like jazz band and band had success this year. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, this year in band, uh, we had a great year. We went to uh, some of the most crazy like festivals, like El Camino and San Marcos. And uh, I think our biggest highlight of the entire year was when we went to Anaheim and we won something like, I think, five or six trophies. And uh, out of all the schools through the entire country, we won the most uh, awards. And I California, yeah. We went 27 and 8 on the season, swept Torrey Pines, won our first 11 games in a row, won the Pirate Falcon Tournament, won the Lions Tournament. We were top five in the county the uh, entire season. We are league co-champions. We were the number one seed in playoffs, and we were CIF championship finalists. Uh, well, one thing we've accomplished was we sold out Legally Blonde, our spring musical, and this year we sold out so quickly that we had to add a, a Wednesday show for the second week which has never happened before in the entire history of SDA Theater. So this year for our Theater for a Cause show, we actually raised $8,000 to help a student on campus, Spencer Fox, who's probably pretty great, actually. <laughs> Successes of soccer this year. We'll definitely be making it back to the semifinals. Good job, guys, with a new coach and a lot of things going against us. We definitely proved everyone wrong. And uh, beyond that, I think we, uh, we did really good things for the program. And it's looking up. We played as a team, even though people didn't think we could. And I'm proud of you guys for that. I'll see you next year. Yeah, year. so Mustang Lions probably had one of our best seasons in a very long time. Um, we actually swept our division in Academic League, which involves beating Canyon Crest and Torrey Pines, um, which are two teams who are usually um, much better than the rest. Um, but we managed to beat them, and we won our Coast Division. And as a Quiz Bowl team, we actually qualified for the, the High School Nationals Tournament, which we were at last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and we actually managed to have a winning record, and we made playoffs. Um, and I only see us getting better from there, so... Uh, our lacrosse team did really well. We made it to the semifinals of the CIFs, and we played a hard game against Del Norte, and we lost, but it was a really great season, and all the girls were super close. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started... This year for track, we actually won the first track meet since I've been in high school which was eight schools, and we did the best out of all of them. And also we had a lot of people make it to CIF this year, more than any of the past years. And so that was awesome, we had a lot of fast people this year. This has been a really great year, this week in debate team. For the second time, for the second year in a row, we qualified two students to the Tournament of Champions, which is the highest level of policy debate. For one of the first times in our history, we qualified two students to the national, and we managed to qualify 12 students to the state championship tournament, and also we placed third overall in our league in San Diego, and we've pretty much established ourselves as a powerhouse in California. So it's been a fun year, and I've been happy to be a part of it. If you never say goodbye.